Why did I panic for? The interior is gonna be just fine. These lights automatically up. Oh my gosh, there's a triangle in my roof. <laughs> I can't see it very well. Oh, here it is. You see this right here? Did one of you try to stab me in the back? I can't believe this. My bird can't believe this either. You gotta apologize to the bird. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back. Black Borg. Okay, so for today's video, I thought we would go back to a build challenge. I will still do like regular challenges and other block rig videos while I'm doing the, the castle project. But today I thought we would um, build another house with without coloring anything at all. This is great because it gives me an excuse not to choose a color, not choose a texture at all either. And the last time we did something like this was about a year ago. Actually, I think it's like two years. It's been two years, May 21st, 2020. So it's gonna be two years and like three months. Oh yeah, today's color code of the day is yellow for a little bit and then um maybe i'll change it i said in the last video i was going to use this for today's color code maybe i'll choose another one in the middle of the video color code of the day if you would like your color code consider just type in color code and whatever code you have remember there's a limit of 255 and that is the only way i'll be able to find your comments <laughs> okay i don't know why i'll have to laugh every time i do that this is gonna be a random color code but here you go all right i'll choose this one from Ginny claus hopefully i remember to change my color code in the middle of this video all right so building a house with no color the rules are very simple for this challenge so obviously if I place something down like the walls and such, I cannot color the walls. I cannot texture them. Uh, if I choose, if I color it, then I lose. Even with furniture as well. Say I put down like a couch. I actually have to leave it that exact same color. I'm not allowed to color it at all. Not textured either. So I have to leave it the way it is. Can't color anything, but I can leave things in their original colors if I choose a furniture item with color. Makes sense. Very easy. Okay. Anyone can do this. And a house I'm going to make. I actually really enjoy this challenge because once again, I am, I take forever to choose a color and texture. And sometimes I prefer my house to be not colored at all. Like I look at the shape of it and the windows and stuff in the roof. I'm like, oh, I love it. And then I'm like, I'm going to ruin it by coloring it because it can happen. Okay. I looked up some house plans and I actually really like this one. This to be a big Victorian styled house and this is something I'm gonna try to recreate something very similar but obviously not exact especially since we have no colors to choose but um, yeah this looks really nice I love the roofs like look at the detailing on these the back of the house is uh you know it's normal there's some fairy lights like string lights right here so that's nice A little pergo pergola pergola that's what I call it pergola <laughs> Ooh, now that I'm thinking about it, okay, this is off topic. You know the sounds that when you build things, like, like that? I wonder if Coeptus up made these himself, like, did, did Coeptus upload this himself? Would we be getting new sounds for the build mode then, if all of the sounds are, like, privated or and whatnot? Well, it's under six seconds, so maybe we won't get new sounds. I don't know. If it's not by Coeptus, maybe we'll get new ones. Okay, that's the only way. That's kind of interesting. Oh my god. That's funny to think about. How do I build this? This house has a garage. Three bedroom, three bathroom. We're doing another family house. Great. I'll go like, I'll start here, I guess. This house ha does have a garage and it's gonna be like, I don't wanna make it too big. Let's just do like a five wide garage. I don't know how big it's gonna be. And then we can go ahead and just work on the rest of the house. Just the shape of it goes a bit like this and then it'll turn a bit this way. And it'll just go straight through. You know, it's a very, it's very simple house. <laughs> god, this house is gonna be a little bit wider. Okay, this house will not be sunshines and rainbows when it comes to the roof I'm just saying that right now it's not gonna be sunshines and rainbows let's do this so this will be like the patio and then we go up a bit and just kind of do this i think that's the house yeah that's the house okay actually before i start on the second floor i'm gonna do the layout first of the first floor and then we can get an idea of like where the stairs are gonna go this is not even a master bedroom it's just a bedroom i guess we can call it a master but it's not big enough to be a master bedroom oh wait there's more there's more never mind hold on oh uh Go ahead okay that's the master bedroom oh my gosh okay wait that's too this could be wait this could be their um bathroom right here it's not like i'm getting colored anyway it's fine it's fine it's f i'm not gonna think about this too much i don't want to think about this too much because there's no color anyways so this will be a master bedroom with a like a giant walk-in closet this is gonna be the ensuite bathroom there this will be like the living room area i guess and then this area will be like the kitchen what if we do it like this two like that okay perfect there you go this will be a good spot for the fireplace too and definitely a living room so i have the floor plans of the like, actual house that i'm recreating but i want to like of course i'm not gonna do the exact long driveway oh my god this is a really long driveway there you go oh i have an idea so i'll do yellow the color code yellow for like the building portion and then i'll switch to the next color code during the decorating one okay that's perfect let's do the second floor i made a mistake there has been a severe lapse of judgment here <laughs> okay that roof is good that roof is good I like this roof. This one's fine. Very simple. And then they have like a dormer roof going here. We can add a dormer. 
Yeah, that's good. That that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I wish the dormer was a bit. Yeah, I wish this dormer was a bit like lower, but it's okay. They should have. Um, you know how like we have chimneys in this game where you could just buy a full-on chimney and just place it anywhere on your roof. They should have dormers, like uh, dormers that you can just place inside your. Um, your roofs as well. I feel like they should do that. This should be like um, decorative dormers. It doesn't even have to be functional. It could be like a decorative dormer. That would be a cool update idea. What is happening? 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 No! 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 Oh no, this roof is tragic. Okay, you know what? This side is okay. This front is okay too. But when you get to this side, it gets after a lot of struggling. All right, let's go and put this new roof on. I've got a lot of changes now. There we go. Good slant it right there. Very nice. Oh, perfect. Wait, that's actually a lot better. I fixed it. Oh my god, there's so many gables. There's like three gable roofs right here. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. At least I can, uh, I think I can get a decent thumbnail with that. Okay, let's get some windows. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the next color code now that we have the actual, like, shape of the house and such done. I still have to put windows and doors, but... Oops! <laughs> Oops! Oh! How many times am I, is my character dying? Oh my god. Hello? Hello, what's going on? Are you okay, game? Okay, let's just change the color code right now. 145, 68, 90. I've done this color already. I've done this color already. I'm sorry. Okay, I've done this color already. I'm sorry, Jenny Claus. Thank you, though, for the uh, recommendation. I feel like I've done this. Kadi, Kadi, Kadiha, Kadiha Khan? Kadija, Kadija, Kadiha. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Uh, they said, yeah, it's not blinding. Okay, I will, I will put this in. Thank you. 108. I feel like I'd done this this color a couple days ago. 146, 204. Oh, okay, it's a different type of blue. Oh, interesting. Okay, I've never done this, I don't think. You know, it could have been worse. I actually made it turn out pretty decent. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. <sighs> okay, let's go and put the windows and doors on these things, and then, yeah, I'll just start. I don't have to use colors. I'm so happy I don't have to color anything. This is the best day ever. This is why I chose this video today, because I don't have to put that much effort. Some war- Oh, I can't do warm lighting! <gasps> Oh my god, I just realized again, I can't change the color of anything, even the lights. Ah! I, I was about to color it. I was about to color it. No! We can't live without our warm lighting. I mean, this is sort of warm lighting, but not the warm lighting. Oddly enough, the back is not supposed to look like this. It really isn't. It's not supposed to look like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and floor up the rest of the house now. Okay, nice! Ooh! Very cool. And we can't even color the floors either. No walls, no floor coloring. Just a very plain home. Um, which I don't mind at all. All right, now it's time to decorate everything, guys. We have everything we need now. Um, I feel like I want to put a window here. I think I will. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's decorate, shall we? Finally get into the decorating portion of the house. I could have it here. I could have it here. There's no problem. Let's try it putting it here first. Oh, let's get all the things we need. This is a Victorian house. Let's do something different. Let's do like a arched furniture. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the kitchen over here. I don't know what to do with this area. Maybe like a mini mudroom area over here because this is the area that comes from the garage. So, <laughs> so tempted to color them. Okay, cabinets. Let's get some cabinets too. Traditional cabinets. Kind of want to split this up. I want to like close this off a bit like that. I think it'll be more interesting if I like split this part off, have it separated and then we could still have like a nice L-shaped kitchen along this side too. Don't color anything. Don't color whatever you do. Do not color anything, Pita. So that's our kitchen. Um, I don't know if I should add another like separate dining table anywhere. Uh, I don't think so. The inside, the exterior may be Victorian sort of inspired, but the interior is going to be a different story. It's been a while since I used a wall TV. There you go. Nice wall television there. Maybe a nice carpet to fill up the bit of the space. It's gonna be yellow. Oh, man. Our best bet to get warm lighting is just to use the transitional pendants. These are already warm lighting. So actually, you know what? Why did I panic for? The interior is gonna be just fine. These lights automatically up. Oh my gosh, there's a triangle in my roof. <laughs> I can't see it very well. Oh, here it is. But yeah, once again, these lights automatically come in with um, uh, linen lighting. Linen colored lighting the warm lighting of course didn't color anything right i didn't color anything i hope i didn't okay okay so this is a basic decorating right now let's go and work on the bedroom over here guys if this video comes out late i'm sorry i'm so sorry so we'll have like a nice bench at the bed there i put a desk here uh let's get some end tables should put some of these end tables over here too just to add more to the room 
because yeah that would be nice oh yeah there you go perfect ew this is so ugly fire 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 firewood firewood go put some firewood decorative firewood for my fireplace i'll put out this window fire extinguisher just in case something catches on fire which it won't because i'm a totally safe homeowner you know you know maybe i should have gotten that forty thousand dollar block break cash it would have paid for this video's build you know it really would have. I already had like 8,000 block bucks. Then again, money is very easy to work for, so that's why I didn't choose it. I think block bucks is better. Okay, there's a giant walk-in closet for whatever reason. It's just that narrow. It's just this wide. We'll do that. Maybe we'll get a couple paintings and such in here as well. You know, paintings are always nice. Plants. Paintings and plants will save this room, I hope. I can say for sure though, this house is a lot better than the uh, other house that I did. The first house that I did for this challenge, not the greatest home. Okay, there we go. The first floor is basically done. Still have that patio to do, but let's. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second floor off camera and then we will return with the tour guys of our no coloring house. We are almost done. I'm basically like pretty much finished with the house, but we have only $2,000 left and the rest of the money will probably go towards uh, a bit of landscaping and Oh gosh, just a bit of landscaping. Not that much at all. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here is our Victorian, somewhat Victorian house. Honestly, it just looks like a like a traditional home with a hint of Victorian on the side. This is our Victorian home. Uh, no colors at all. I did not change any colors at all within this house. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Like the shape of it looks really nice. I would definitely... If this was colored and stuff, I would definitely use this as like a starter house. Yeah, this side's kind of lackluster. The back is okay as well. I think it turned out fairly decent. And honestly, I do prefer it colorless. If I were to color this, it would probably be ruined. I don't know, knowing me. The garage is over there, but honestly, there's nothing in there to see. There's, <laughs> there's nothing, so we don't need to go through there. But yeah, if we go up on this porch and through the doors, here we are. We have your living room to the right, and this one has actually been pretty decorated fairly well. Like, I filled up this space quite a bit, and it looks really wacko because there are, there's no colors. Like, we don't have much color going on. Uh, to the left is a kitchen area and pretty decent as well. I don't even have like decorations for my kitchen. Oh my god, I'm broke. This over here is a mini mudroom sort of spot and this will lead to the garage. So yeah, nothing in here. I, I went in there. And then of course the back porch just has a glass dining table. Not even a grill. I guess you'll have to cook the food in here and then bring it outside. And then over here is the first uh, bedroom. It's not, I don't, I wouldn't say this is like, I guess you could say this is the second master bedroom, but... Um, yeah, first floor, second master bedroom. Create it fairly decently. This is a little walk-in closet. And then you got a ensuite bathroom right here. So, yeah. Look how plain it is! Look how plain it is with no colors. Okay, moving on. Okay, my favorite part about this house, for whatever reason, for some odd reason, I like this... I like this, like, spot where it goes up the stairs. I don't know, I've always liked these spots. You go upstairs, you got a, like, loft area, sort of. So you can have some seating, you can look out the window. And this first bedroom is the main master bedroom, which is kind of, yeah, it is one of the biggest bedrooms in the house. And I not know what to do with it, so I just, you know, put some random furniture. That's the main master bedroom. You got another bedroom over here as well. Um, and this is kind of like, you know, a guest bedroom at this point, because it's... Then you got a bathroom over here. Now, it's kind of crazy, copied and pasted, sort of. And then this is a supply closet. And yeah, this is just a random hallway. Nothing to see here. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. So there's two bedrooms up here and then one bedroom downstairs with a total of three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Thank you for watching today and I struggled quite a bit. But anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it inspiring in any way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time ready to watch this and I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Gosh, if I had a bit more money, the house would be a bit more detailed. But honestly, it's still better than my first attempt at this, I think. Like, the house is better. Landscaping is okay. Yeah, it was fun. You guys should try it.